Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Are you middle class? I won't press the question. You all know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take a vote and see how many of us are middle class? Should we put that on the website and scream Toastmaster say, 99% middle class. <laughs> Today we have uh, something called a student loan crisis. Hmm. Lots of people with student loans who aren't able to pay them back. Are they middle class? It's an interesting question, I think. What does it mean to be middle class in America? Especially if it is based on education. Interesting movie on the topic. You may have seen it. My Fair Lady. Based on the play Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. I was hoping to play a little clip on YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll play you a little clip on my phone. We'll see if I can get it. So Liza has just come back from the Ambassador's Ball, where Henry Higgins won his bet with um, the current. And she's a little, a little, a little pensive. She's thinking, pardon my shame. Oh, but that's a good one right here. She's upset. So, you may have heard a reference to that scene, actually. It's not actually in the movie, but it is in the play. And so the reference in the play is to a scene where, let's see if I can find it. Liza says, but I haven't forgot what you said a minute ago, and I won't be coached around as if I was a baby or a puppy. If I can't have kindness, I'll have independence. And Professor Higgins responds, independence, that's middle class blasphemy. We are all dependent on one another, every soul on, of, of us on earth. Eliza, rising, Determinedly, I'll let you see whether I'm dependent on you. So if you've seen the movie, you know how it ends. 
So we all think that we're middle class. We're all fairly well educated. We may or may not have income or assets. But the question is, what is it that makes us in, um, middle class? Is it our independence? Do we actually have independence? And in that scene, do you sympathize with Professor Higgins or with Liza? If we go back to the history of this country, and we think about the pilgrims, were they independent? Or were they afraid? I don't think the pilgrims were afraid. They might have been afraid, but they had the courage to overcome it. Similarly, when the frontiers the, the, the settlers settled the rest of this country. Were they independent? Or were they afraid? Or did they conquer their fear and have the courage to settle what was apparently a savage land? If we think about the middle class today, how do we compare to two, three generations ago people that settled this country, the people that uh, were family farmers, the people that were tradesmen, the people that were merchants. Those people took courage and 